In this video, we want to see what is the relationship between independence of two random variables, if they are independent, and what will happen to their correlation. Or if they are uncorrelated, are they independent or not? So uh, one of the uh, main concepts is that if any two random variables are independent, they should be uncorrelated. So if this theorem says that if they are independent, if you have these property, if they are independent, this means that two random variables x and y are independent means that their joint distribution of x, y of x and y can be decomposed as product of f x of x times f y of y for all values of uh, x and y. Okay, so if you have this property, we want to prove that they are uncorrelated. Uncorrelated means that cxy shall be equal to zero. Okay, this means that mean of xy is equal to mean of y times a mean of uh, x. Now let's see if we can if we can prove this one or not, and how we can do it. Obviously, mean of x y. So let's calculate it, is equal to uh, integral, because here I have two variables, I have to integrate it over both of them, x from minus infinity to plus infinity, and y from minus infinity to plus infinity. And then the value that this guy takes, which is going to be xy, and then the joint PDF, f xy of x and y dx dy. So far, I have used the definition of this guy. I need to use this one as well. And then uh, finally, I will need to use the definition of this one. So these are the all facts that I have. I will use all of them in order to prove. So uh, because this decomposition could happen, I could substitute here. So I will get a double integral of whatever I have here. And then x, y, and this will become f x of x, f y of y, and then dx dy. So I could reorganize, take this one together, this guy, take this guy with this guy together, and this x and this guy together. So this will become x, f x of x, dx, and then y, f y of y, dy. And because the area of integration is a rectangle, of course, from minus infinity to plus infinity, minus infinity. So I could decompose integral in two integrals, from minus infinity to plus infinity over x, and integral from y from minus infinity to plus infinity. Obviously, this is the definition of expected value of x, and the second one is the expected value of y. So the theorem is proven. If if two random variables are independent, they have to be uncorrelated. Now, the question is that if this is zero, can we conclude that they are to be um, uh, independent? Of course not, we cannot. So independence is a very, very strong condition. This is a weaker one. So, okay, uh, being uncorrelated is a much weaker uh, constraint and uh, condition than uh, independence. So I summarize the proof very easily. Independence means that you can decompose. A mean of x, y, you can write it as a double integral. This double integral can be decomposed into product, and therefore this is uh, proof. So uh, any two independent random variables, um, uh, if, if two random variables are independent, so any function of x, so if x and y are independent, we can conclude that a function of x and a function of y shall be also independent or also are also independent. So that means that these guys, these two new random variables are also uncorrelated. So this means that any, um, 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 oh, I'm sorry, here this should be h. That means that any uh, joint moment which can be decomposed also, um, the, 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 that moment can be uh, simplified. So this means that if x and y are independent, 
the random variables g of x and h and y so this is only a function of x this is only a function of a they shall be also uncorrelated so independence is uh, not just uncorrelatedness of two random variables but also uncorrelatedness of any function of uh, x and any other function of y they should be uncorrelated now the question is that if we have this property if any function of x is uncorrelated with any function of y if, if this is always for any g is equal to mean of g of x times mean of h of x for all g and h can we say that x and y shall be independent the answer is yes and uh, um, uh, this can be easily proven i give you a hint use g of x as delta of uh, uh, x minus x naught and then use h of x as delta of uh, y minus y naught and then you will see that uh, if they are uncorrelated for all x naught and y naught then you will see that the joint distribution can be decomposed so independence means that all functions of x is uncorrelated with all functions of only why?